Clinic visits provide health care services to patients on an ambulatory basis rather than by admission to a hospital or other health care facility. It may be consultation, initial evaluation, off-site clinic visit, out-of-office visit, casting, measurement, diagnostic fitting, repair, delivery, definitive fitting, follow-up, adjustment, dynamic alignment, diagnostic follow-up, pre- and post-operative visits, and scanning. The purpose of clinic visit is to focus on significant health issue affecting the target population, to confirm program me methodologies are on the right track, to assess health can need as available services for the low income, and to increase awareness and prevention of disease through patient education and counseling. And the equipment needed are chart, stethoscope, thermometer, physical examination equipment, BP apparatus. Good morning, Mom. What's the name, Mom? First time, Nemo or Dili? Ah, Dili, ra? Wait, saan, Mom, ha? Kitangita. Oh, na po yung mga records. Anna Cruz, Mom, no? 21 years old. Ma'am. Ano may rason, Ma'am, na nang natad rin? Ah, galabat, imuulo. So, pila na po na siya ka-adlaw ka sakit, Ma'am? O, kanas apo siya gasugod? Ah, katong ni Agira. So, pila ka may notice siya magsakit, Ma'am? Like, sakit la, sakit kaayo or dili ra? Ah, dili ra kaayo. Pero usahay mags magsakit po siya. Ah. So, karan ma'am, sakit eh, mong ulo or dili ra kaayo? Ah, wala ra noon. Ah, so ma'am, magkuha sa tagbipi ma'am ha. Dahil pag, pag humana ni, Okay lang maghuwat sa ta sa gawas ma'am dahil tagaan tikag priority number para tawagon na lang tika pag ikaw na ang sunod ma'am. Thank you. Excuse me ma'am, naara imong priority number nang tawagon lang dayon tika daan ma'am ha kung ikaw na ang sunod. So okay ra ma'am na magwait lang ta ma'am ha. Thank you. For the tri-aging, manage program-based cases, prioritizing patient treatment based on their cases. Second is to refer to all non-program-based cases to the physician. All other cases which has no potential danger, treatment or the management is initiated by the nurse and he or she decided to do his or her own nursing diagnosis and then refer to the physician for medical management. For the severe conditions must be seen by the physician. And for the third is to provide first aid treatment to emergency cases and refer when necessary to the next level of care to prevent complications. For the clinical evaluation, first is to validate the clinical history and physical examination to achieve immediate and accurate treatment of the patient. Second is to the nurse arrives at the evidence-based diagnosis and provides rational treatment based on DOH programs, identify the patient's program to assure accurate individual nursing intervention. Second is to formulate or write the nursing diagnosis and validate to assure accurate individual nursing interventions. Third is to give or perform the nursing interventions to address the client's needs. And fourth is to evaluate the intervention if it, if it has enabled the patient to achieve the desired outcome to determine effectiveness of the interventions. And for the last is to discuss important and applicable home care instructions and the needs for follow-up visits as necessary to promote client's independency. And the 
last one is to coordinate referral to next level of care like hospitals, laboratories, city health office as necessary based on the needs and case of the patient for continuity of care and to give the best interventions the client need.